Hi writers and welcome in the first video of 2023. This year will be an year full of bucket paint of course and chrome and all the stuff that you're used to see on this channel, but right in this moment is still 2022. Yeah. I'm a fake. So I'm gonna paint the last piece of the year for me in real life and the first piece of the year for you on YouTube. And I know that uh, one of the best cliché of a new year is to make some changes, but actually there is one important thing that I want to change about myself and so about the channel. I'm gonna talk about this during the video. Now it's time for some professional preparation. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Oh, and by the way, I have a new toy. <laughs> oh no, the battery. Oh no. See. Nice. New Year same wall. Nothing special, but as baptism of fire, it's more than enough. I tried to do a good preparation, which is basically the key of the whole new year. Well, let's paint. <laughs> to not that uh, nice uh, guys joined me, the first is Ares Eras, you already know him, and the other one down there is Joe. He doesn't really paint, he just paints sometimes, he's not a professional writer. He's a professional rapper. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Lago Patia rapper, Teruscello, and in and uh, the intorni, what's it? Nearby. And nearby. <laughs> So I'll go over Riot, which is a shame if you ask me, but this is how legal spots work. People and also apparently kids in Naples are very passionate about fireworks, especially not wonderful ones that make uh, nice lights in the sky, but ones that make a loud bang. Very funny, right? Yeah. letters are very easy today, I am struggling quite a lot, especially because there is a repetition in this piece, there are many twos, let's say. I don't know, in general I feel like I am sculpturing the letters more than sketching them. I don't know, but I guess that some of you could relate. I'm finally done with my sketch, I've been sketching for 1 hour and 20 minutes. It's quite a lot of time, but one of the choice that I took for this new year is that uh, I want to take my time and I want to do stuff like uh, I know how to do, like sketching in a messy way, taking a lot of time, but I really don't care. If this is the process that allows me to do things well, this is what I'm gonna do. By the way, I want to show you also the advancement of uh, the whole painting. RS is filling his sky and Joe is doing the background with the bucket paint and my roller because Ares and Joe both they didn't bring any roller because they are stupid and so I saved uh, their life so now a little rest also because my back hurts I'm getting old another ear is gone yeah prepared that I even bought a proper small brush to fill the tiny spaces. If this is not preparation, I don't know what it is. Okay, 
last background of the year done for you is the first of the year but whatever as last but also first thing of the year I have to do something that represents me and I have to say that it was really easy to find something good for both things chromey stuff of course let's try not to ruin this last first piece of the year About the background I decided to do an easy clean one, half pointy with an arrow and the other half is gonna be a bubble. And this is not random, I'll tell you more in the final analysis. Yeah, I also did a bubble over here but I forgot to film it. Background done. Porco do bastardo. Nacho cats. Here you can take a better view. I guess that something is already pretty understandable. This piece is full of uh, hidden, let's say, jokes, easter eggs. There are hidden meanings here and there. And I know that you could probably notice something wrong in it, but everything will make sense at the end. Now is outline time. Also the sun is going down very quickly, so I have to be quicker. The outlines of this sort of rectangle should have been straight, but by doing them I realized that it was hard and I said something like, let's do it a bit wavy, it won't make any difference. Great idea, the event from the past. Oh and by the way, never do twice a line that's already straight. <laughs> Well, the piece is done, the concept works, but the only thing that I was able to think in that moment was that the rectangle was ugly, terribly ugly, and that it was ruining completely the piece. I had to fix it. Before painting it on the wall, I sketched it uh, scraping the paper, by the way, because the pen was not working, wonderful, and I tried to do it uh, in a Roman style, I don't know if it is the proper word, but it was still terribly ugly. Then I redid the original rectangle shape, this time with a fat graffiti style too in the inside, but I started to hate it right after finishing it. At the end I erased everything and in my anger I just did a 2 in an astrophet graffiti style. 
I don't know if it is the best choice, but for this there is the final analysis. So, as always, let's analyze it. First of all, today's balancing is pretty easy and I would not even call this balancing, but all you have to know is that all the 2s and the K are on the same axis, more or less because the Astrofet 2 was not planned and so it's a little bit lower, but whatever. And the 3 only is a little bit upwards. This is not a proper style choice, but this is motivated by the first hidden meaning of today, which is that the 2023, well, I hope that this year will be a little bit better than 2022, especially its end, and so in my graffiti piece I pushed the tree a little bit more upwards. And uh, also the bottom part of the piece, well, we can consider that part of the balancing. The idea is like a first letter that sustains all the other letters, but in this case all the letters are basically the same size. Actually also the whole bottom has a meaning, because as you can see it creates a sort of a wave, it starts low, then it goes up a little bit, then again low, and underneath the tree it starts to go up again. This represents my 2022 and hopefully my start of the 2023. About the letters themselves, there isn't so much to say, they are quite easy, the K is a little bit more throw upish. there is only one thing that went wrong and is the two in the middle. At the end I have to say that uh, it doesn't ruin that much the piece, at least not as much as the Roman 2 or the other solution that I tried, but uh, I have to say that I regret a lot the choice of doing a special two in the middle. Probably a normal one like the first would have been the best solution. As I told you previously, the background has a meaning as well. The left part is an arrow and it's pointy and uh, clean. The arrow represents the fact that I am comfortable in my past, that's why the arrow is on the left, towards the past, let's say. But as you can see, the arrow is crooked and this is because I want to get out of my past comfort zone, because yeah, it's cool it's comfortable but it's not the solution for the future which on the other hand is not defined and uh, it is wobbly it is uh, bubbly <laughs> let's say but like all the chrome arrows are saying I have to go towards the future the only thing that I regret about this background is that uh, there isn't enough contrast uh, between uh, the bucket paint and this yellow of the background yeah I crossed myself. Actually, I only crossed the second two because 2022 is finished and so now it's toy and 2023 is coming and so as I said previously it's a little bit more upwards. But on the other hand I also wrote next to my piece happy same year because I kinda ate this uh, human habit to celebrate uh, the first day of the year and so the new year saying that in the new year we will be uh, better than ourselves in the past and all this stuff but I hate this uh, and at the same time I am part of this kind of problem let's say so to make my inconsistence obvious I made uh, a whole new piece for the new year but I wrote something against this tradition. Cryptic vent today. Whatever, I really hope that you like the video and that you will keep following me on YouTube and Instagram in this new year. Love you long time, guys. I will try to do my best to keep you entertained on my channel, giving you even only 15 minutes of freedom from your thoughts. And as always, see you next time.